So what are some of the things that we've done to make it more and more user friendly and uh, in line with where the world is going is use of bots. Uh, so today when you are ordering something from your retailer or online, what do you do? You want to know where my parcel is, where is it coming to me? Uh, you don't need to do that. You can actually get on your Facebook Messenger and chat it through uh, and ask where where is my parcel? When am I getting it? I'm not home at so and so time. So instead of now logging in somewhere, remembering some numbers, all that you all of you use Facebook or similar social media platforms. So that's uh, some of the simplification, ease of use and uh, efficiency that you bring to the world. Uh, now this is a case of a consumer. You can have businesses managing their inventory through Facebook Messenger. Uh, you can have orders being placed through this. So you just don't see what you use every day, your Facebook, get onto that and do your work. So these are some of the innovations that we bring to the table along with the integrated. I think uh, we possibly use this occasion to talk a little bit about our HR software. which is a complete end-to-end -end software as well. It also integrates with our logistics software. It's already running at LBC for almost one year now, uh, since we last uh, talked to them. Uh, this is everything rolled into one. So one thing we believe as a company is we don't bring you product from four, five, six different companies. It's all one single product from one company. That's the philosophy with which we go. One single code base, one single programming way of working. Uh, that is what differentiates us. We have payroll for every country in Asia, excluding North Korea. Every country means every country. Let's see, Asia means the larger Asia, Asia Pacific, including Japan, uh, China, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Taiwan, and so on. The smallest country as well, like East Timor, to Papua New Guinea. So every country in Asia. Yeah. Every country in Asia, every country in Middle East, every country in South Asia. So right, Iran, Iraq, we have for each of those countries. In fact, one of the gentlemen in our Middle East head is right now sitting in Iraq. So while people may worry about going to Iraq, but you know, we are fearless. We are everywhere uh, we need to be, where our customer needs us to be. And uh, so that's the kind of uh, thing that we have built, and that's what is enduring multiple clients to be talking to us. Uh, these names are not to be taken on the place, so I just mentioned the kind of names that are there with us. And, uh, this is the innovation lab. This lab has been set up by Air France KLM along with Ramco. That shows that they traveled all the way from Paris to Singapore to set up this innovation lab. How much they believed in our deep knowledge and the capability to innovate and attract the best talent in the world. Because it requires the brightest mind in the world to work on the most complex problems that anybody can face. The fact that a company from as far as France sets up in Singapore, a lab with us is a testimony to the fact that they believe that we that we can do something very, very special to disrupt uh, the aviation industry. I think that's pretty much uh, all from our side. All these are examples. If you walk into our Singapore office, your face is automatically, automatically recognized, the door automatically opens, the lights come onto your desk, the blinds go up without scanning any card or anything. So you don't have to remember carrying the card. And for security angle, you don't have to. Somebody else can steal the card or take your card and go. All that doesn't happen. All devices, everything gone. Attendance raised to everything is gone. Similarly, in mobility for warehousing, uh, almost all the store activities can be done on mobile. This is in customer hands. Customer can do mobility using this. So customer can check on orders, supplies, and so on and so forth. Various things, including customers can use mail and customer can use bots. This is the level of power. We don't ask you to download an app. Because just I think if a customer is dealing with five logistics companies, they'll be downloading five apps by the day. We just interact with this business interest. Here are some of the awards that we have won. The only company from Asia to be featuring in Gartner, Quartran for both finance and furniture. <coughs> and then as a challenger in the forestry wave. And uh, 
most recently Nelson Hall Neat Matrix for Payroll is being published. Our name is prominently there, uh, and so on. So the accolades keep coming. That's all from our side. Uh, thanks for being here, and we will maybe sit here and uh, answer the questions. Mike, what do you say? Sure. Yeah. Maybe we can take the question in a more informal setting here instead of sitting on there. That's what Mike preferred. He said. Yeah. So we have Mike from here, and yeah, we have. I would just give it to the LBC CIO, Mr. Alpi, to introduce his team. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So with us today is our president, uh, Mike Tamahor from LBC Express. Then we have our chief finance officer, Enki Lei, our head of Philippine operations, Bear Valentin, and then Rene Fuentes, who heads our international and systems group. Uh, myself, I'm Alfie, uh, the Atlan, the CIO for LBC. So, I'm going to start the question of picture taking. What's the question? question. question. Uh, I'm Raquel from Coiro. Uh, please keep us at back and please describe the partnership between you and your uncle. Uh, okay. Well, Ramco is our vendor, no? Uh, we got them initially for HR system, and then recently we signed up again with them for the whole logistics system, no? Uh, and that's what they're presenting here today, is the relationship that we have, no? But it's more of a vendor friendly relationship, no? Where we acquire their system to be able to power us to the next wave of logistics. Uh, yeah. When, when uh, Bob Reyes and Bulletin, when uh, will this system be implemented? Uh, uh, will it be uh, in LBC? It will be first uh, locally or deployed in pilot areas? Well, the plan is to implement it locally first, no? Uh, but this is a system we will use globally for the whole LBC. But uh, it will be implemented here domestically first. Which is uh, our biggest market. Yeah, is, is there any time frame when it's going to be implemented? <laughs> we're looking at 10 to 12 months no? after the scoping. That's when we'll give the exact timelines. But right now, we're looking at 10 to 12 months for this one. And one, once it's implemented, uh, what value will it have for LBC mm -hmm. and for the customers of LBC? Yeah, well, the main reason we're getting is really for customers. No? Uh, basically, it gives full visibility from a customer point of view. No? Uh, two things no? they have full visibility over your package on the arrival. It also allows for on-demand pickup and delivery. Uh, from our side, it also gives us full visibility on the financial side. Uh, the billing system is also integrated in such a way, no? including warehouse. You've seen how fully integrated it is, and that's where we've seen the difference between Rampo and the other systems that we looked at. Because, as they said, no, it's a fully integrated system all along, and that's something that we like. No? We don't have to integrate it to any many of our systems, which we have today. So it's a complete change for us. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If, if I may add to that also, I think everybody today um, is fully aware of, of, of the transformation of, of the changes going on all over the world no? uh, with social media, e-commerce, uh, demands of customers are changing, our, our expectations of customers are changing rapidly. I think what's, inform what's important for us in, in, in being able to, to acquire this system and partner with Ramco is really it's part of our digital transformation footprint. Uh, today we work, we are operating our own legacy systems that have been there for, for for so many years. And if we don't change today, and this is our opinion uh, as LBC, and uh, if we don't change today strategically with the system, then uh, we will be left behind with the changes happening in, in, in all over the world, and uh, specifically in the Philippines, logistics is a very hot segment today. Um, I've been in the industry for 34 years or so, and I've never seen logistics as 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 as, as uh, hot as it is today. No? Changes are really going rapidly, very fast. So for us, is we have to make this investment. We have to get into this partnership in order for us to be able to to go to, uh, take the company to the next level. So.
So it's an it's a major investment we're doing to be able to take us to take LBC again in the market, continue to be number one for the next 60, 70 years. Thank you, sir. How much is the company investing oh. <laughs> for this uh, new feature? Well, the, the investment, it's the significant investment and we're, we're happy to make it. It's, there's a few steps. There's the Ramco system and there's also some hardware that we need to update. So we're happy to make this investment. As Alfie mentioned and as Mike mentioned, it will improve the efficiency and bring down costs of the company and more importantly, uh, delight more of our customers. So, as Alfie mentioned, in the six to twelve month horizon, we'll see the changes implemented in in LBC. There's the well, like I said, we're happy to make the investment. Um, it's it's significant, but I think we're not. It's not final the actual amount, so we we shouldn't we won't be able to disclose the actual uh, amount. Even the whole party. <laughs> uh, well, I, maybe we, we. I think we're 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 better off not not saying it. As you know, we're, we're a publicly listed company, and the investment will crawl into a a, a final amount eventually. Uh, as I mentioned, that the we're, it's not only the upgrade of the system. There's also hardware that we need to upgrade, and we still need to lock down how much that's going to cost. So we're. We're, uh, we're not confident at this time for the final price. Also, I don't want to discount. I don't, I don't want to disclose the discount that we got from Ramco. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> question. Will, it, will it also include the Facebook Messenger bot? Yes. So, if you are an LBC customer, you can speak to a bot in a messenger and track your package? Yes, that's the plan. That's the ability that we're giving the customers later on. No? Because our customers normally, globally, no? they use Facebook to communicate with their people, yeah. with their relatives here and all. No? So it's a convenient method for them to communicate, to look for your packages or to get updates from us as well. So it's a two-way thing no? when your package is about to be delivered. We can use Messenger as well to provide that message across. Can I just, can I just add to that question? Yeah. Maybe you can ask your question Okay, Ladies first, go. <laughs> yes. How have e-commerce affected the growth of your business? E-commerce has um, positively affected uh, the growth of our business. Um, there's no denying that e-commerce is, 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 is the in thing today, and we expect it to continue growing, the demand for e-commerce to continue growing the next five to ten years. It, it has contributed quite a bit to, to our growth this year. But as, uh, as it has contributed to the growth, it's uh, about being ready and prepared for the next three years. We want to get the next five years because so many things can, with the changes happening within today's world so rapidly, we look at them for the next three years. So we're really preparing ourselves for not just for e-commerce, but also for B2B, our business, our, our, business, our corporate business, I've always thought that it's very important for for a company to succeed to have all segments of logistics requirements in the, in the industry. Uh, you, it's very difficult to survive on one particular segment, i.e., just stick with e-commerce. It's you know you have to have really um, several several services out there to cater to the whole uh, requirements of, of the country, of the Philippines, and all over the world as well. So there's always been a question, and the question always uh, being asked is, has e-commerce uh, added value to logistics, or has logistics added value to e-commerce? I think this is a question, it's always been a question, depending on who you're talking to, which side of the business you're talking to, and you you can imagine what answers you'll get. No? So don't ask me the question, because you already know the answer. But it's, it's, it's either one or the other, but uh, I think both of them really complement each other. And both of them will have to continue complementing each other in order for for each of them to grow uh, while while the wave is present in, in, and and required in, in the industry. Sorry, the Facebook. You wanted to add something? No, that was it. Yeah. Okay. I don't have Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, the integration between the two companies. Would this mean uh, higher rates for your services in the next couple of months, or are you keeping things in there? No, it's no. integration. We're using Grapple systems. Okay. To, uh, when we talk about a partnership, we treat our vendors like partners. Mm -hmm. and, so that, that's where the message is coming out. Right? So the prices uh, for your services will be... Should be the same. Yeah. Yeah, it should not affect. It's, it's, not affect. it's an investment on our part in order to get us more efficient which will translate hopefully to getting our customers more efficient also through mm -hmm. different tools that the system will be able to uh, to give us. So, yeah, it's ease of transacting. Is The objective is ease of transacting mm -hmm. and hopefully it's a one-stop shop for all the requirements for all our customers, regardless of what segment they are of the industry, either B2B, e-commerce, C2C, B2C. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a single integrated platform to give us that, that um, <coughs> Advantage and that, uh, how do you call that? Uh, so fast, ease, ease of efficiency and being able to change with rapidly with, with the change with, uh, with the change in time. So adapt, to adapt to the. Yeah. Thank you. Will there be disruptions in terms of uh, you know when you upgrade, do the upgrade mm -hmm. in current uh, operations? Well, that's my job to make sure that there's no <laughs> disruption. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Uh, any plans for LBC to go into the micropayments thing? Since you are a logistics company. Uh, it's in the horizon, but not not um, in, it's not in the immediate plan. In probably mid-term, long-term plan, it, it, it is there. Thank you. Moving forward, uh, what are the technologies that are you applying to upgrade this one? Well, actually, this is the biggest one. We also invested a lot in our payments. So, you know, LBC is two parts of the business. No? We have the remittance business and then we have the logistics. No? We've already made our investments in terms of the remittance and that's about to go live early next year. And then this one is also another major investment. <coughs> Obviously, after we implement this one, we mentioned that we also did HR with them earlier this year. So successfully. Successfully, yeah. In a short time frame as well. So what what that allows us later on is really to now use the data that we have. No? And I think a lot of investments will go into analytics okay. and all that, which we've already done today. No? Uh, but <laughs> aside from that one, obviously, being a logistics company, we're very rich in terms of data and we have to maximize that one also to provide efficiency and better service to our customers. So it always goes hand in hand. So building on the data from the side of the client and from the side of the, vendor, the software vendor, how do you uh, safeguard the data of your customers? Uh, actually, you right, know, we've made a lot of investments also on the data privacy app. No? I don't know if that's one. No? But globally, because we're also covered by the GPDR uh, globally. So there's a lot of steps that we're engaging a lot of other vendors for that one. So there's also investments in terms of both security for cybersecurity and for data protection. So there's a lot of investments of our money going there as well. And we as Ramco are going to be GDPR compliant from May 25th, which is the date European Union has set 2018. So we will be confirming the GDPR, the data protection act standards. They have a compliant vendor with them because we have many customers in Europe as well. Its first applicability is in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. I think the data privacy act is really geared towards the GDPR. Yeah. So complying with that one will also allow us to comply with the data privacy. Right. Yes. Any plans on the blockchain? You're already doing that. Blockchain. Yeah. We're not yet doing it, but we've already looked at it several times. So it's good for logistics, actually. Uh, we want to be the first to do that here because it's also transparency for the customers. Eh? Uh, when they say it's stuck with cost, so you know it's stuck with cost. So, so we're doing a lot, no? but there's a lot of coordination with the other agencies in the Philippines. So it's not only us bringing it here. We have to coordinate with the government agencies and all that. There are discussions around that, no? and hopefully we can bring it here to the Philippines as a whole, no? uh, but, but I don't think we can do it alone as well. But there's been discussion even with vendors. Even Rampo will be using, I know they've talked about blockchain 
earlier, no? and that allows us to use the technology with them as well. Yeah, maybe you can describe it. So on, on blockchain and logistics, you started building use cases already on the ramp for platform. Uh, you actually have a webinar in January on co-loading and capacity utilization across uh, the logistics industry, and we'll be presenting that to the world in January. We have more use cases around customer experience in blockchain and also on people who own fleets, uh, how you can get authentic parts and validate those parts out. Uh, so there are a lot of experiments being done in blockchain and we we'll start releasing them out from January. I think since LBC is a leader, uh, can you tell us about the if you leave the initiative, you can get more and more players into the equation. <laughs> and uh, just like Boeing is leading in aviation parts, the blockchain, so one, the leader in the country has to take the step and get others enrolled in. Any other questions? Then I think uh, we just come here, we will do the signing ceremony.